were beginning to discover that there was a gap um, in mental health support, early intervention for primary age children in our area. And we began to wonder in our team ministry whether there was something that we could do to address that. So we began by researching whether there was a problem that we had perceived. We spoke to GPs, we spoke to local schools in the area and everybody was coming back with the same message. Yes, um, there isn't much around for primary age children that happens early enough um, for it to make a difference. We'd heard about what was going on in the Goudhurst um, church in that area and they were partnering with an organisation called Fegans and so we began to explore that as a way forward. The schools in the cluster, there are 13 schools and it, it just so happens that it's um, within our deanery area so that was quite practical from an admin point of view. So those 13 schools get counselling in their schools that is uh, match funded. So the schools pay half and the charity pays half to um, make sure that children in primary schools can get this early stage counselling. So it's not for um, major, very entrenched mental health issues. It's that early intervention that could make all the difference later on and certainly stops things from escalating and developing um, by the time they get to secondary school age. The other thing that we've been able to do um, because of some generous grants we've been able to secure um, is to put in place a family support worker who has just come on board and they will come alongside the families of children who have mental health issues and work to support the whole family unit or carers um, who are involved and they will also build a team of local volunteers to help expand and develop that work. I think it's really important for people to understand how many children there are out there that are really struggling. struggling with their mental health. Um, I mean post Covid it, it's definitely risen mm. but it's always, it's always been there. It's always been there. Two thirds of our children um, come to school with mental health problems, and we're seeing, as I say, an increase of that. And a third of them is post COVID of what's happening at home with families. Well, we've got our own school counsellor. She had a very long waiting list in December. I think she had about nine children on the waiting list. So having vegans come in and work with three children meant that they didn't have to wait for so long to be seen and supported. It's such a kingdom thing, isn't it? Um, freedom from fear and anxiety and the possibility of transformation. So it's not Christian counselling that goes into the schools. Um, it, we're working in schools that are church schools and not church schools across the, um, across the district. But it's what is underpinning that is our desire to see families and children flourishing and um, set free from uh, the things that they feel burdened by. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's what's behind it. It's, it's kingdom stuff. Mm -hmm.